we are now going to talk about how we evaluate radical functions. And the way that we do this is we look at our function, whatever it is, and we do it the same way. But a radical function is a function that has a radical on the right, where that's a square root or something else. So for instance, one thing that we could do with this one is we could say, what's f of 6? This becomes the square root of 6 plus 3. Add them together, square root of 9, which is 3. This also happens to give us a point at 6, 3. 6 input, 3 output. So how about a real world example? Suppose we have the, a pendulum swinging back and forth. The period of a pendulum is the time required for the pendulum to swing back and forth to complete one cycle. The period in sections, in seconds, is a function of the pendulum's length L in feet and is given by f of L equals 2 pi times the square root of L over 32. So we want to find the period of a six foot long pendulum. Well, here's our input. L equals six. So we'll take f of six and get two pi times the square root of six divided by 32, which is two pi times the square root of three over 16, two pi square root of three over four, which reduces to square root of three pi over two. So here's our exact answer, but to the round to the nearest tenth means that we need a calculator. So we take pi oh, come on. Pi times three square root three divided by two. And that gives us 2.7. And so it takes 2.7 seconds for that pendulum to swing from one side and back.